All right, everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report, and I am your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, guys, I'm going to see if I can tie about four or five stories together in a short period of time. If you know something about what Obama and Hillary's administration did in Syria, the Ukraine, and Libya, you'll get a lot more out of this story here. You'll understand a lot more about it. Because all these governments were overthrown with peaceful protests. In the case of Syria, they're still there. They made it. But in the other cases, they were overthrown through peaceful protests and then terrorists. So the president of Turkey would know all this. Now I'm going to go through a couple of articles and then I'm going to show you a short clip. Erdogan, which is the president of Turkey, links Antifa to Kurdish groups. Turkish President Erdogan told President Donald Trump today that Kurdish groups in Turkey and Syria are working with the anarchist groups allegedly linked to violence at otherwise peaceful protests in the United States. Listen to this. He called over here and told Trump this. This was two months ago. And listen, Erdogan and, and Trump are not friends, so he's not doing Trump a favor. Turkey tried again to connect protests against police violence in the U.S. to Kurdish groups in the Middle East. In a call with the president of, to President Trump, Turkish President Erdogan said that people committing acts of violence and looting in the U.S. or cooperating with the Kurdish Workers' Party in Turkey and the People's Protection Units in Syria. Erdogan and Trump also discussed Libya. The PKK fights for greater Kurdish political rights in Turkey and is considered a terrorist organization by Ankara and Washington. The YPG in Syria shares a communalist ideology with the PKK but denies further links. The United States backs the YPG in its fights against the Islamic State. Turkey strongly and vocally opposes the support, believing the YPG to be a Syrian version of the PKK. Some, of, some Antifa supporters fought in the YPG in Syria, which is the basis of Turkish government's claims of a connection. Some Antifa supporters fought with the YPG in Syria, which is the basis of the Turkish government claims of a connection. Okay, now let me show you this. This is why Erdogan would know this, because all this happened to him. Erdogan. Okay, now I didn't write this article. I'm just a researcher, so don't get mad at me for saying this. Erdogan, infamous Hungarian Jew, Soros, sends people across the world to divide and tear up nations. Erdogan forces Soros' Open Society Foundation out of his country. He ran Soros out for doing the same thing that they were doing in the Ukraine, starting these fake protests and trying to overthrow his government. Turkish, government Erdogan, Turkish President Erdogan has called out the subversive billionaire, financier, and infamous Hungarian Jew, George Soros, for his attempt to undermine Turkey, leading a shadowy saboteur to quickly pull his operations out of the country. Erdogan began his speech by targeting Kavala, a globalist lackey who funded the Gizi protest against the Turkish government in 2013. I'm going to show you a clip of that in a minute but was thankfully later arrested. This is the person who financed the terrorists in the Gizi events. Now he is behind bars. However, Erdogan then made clear that Kabbalah wasn't the only representative in Turkey of a much darker and more insidious puppeteer. And who is, who is behind him? This infamous Hungarian Jew Soros, Erdogan declared. This is the person who sends people across the world to divide and tear up nations and uses the large amount of money he possesses to that effect. Within days, one of Soros' top operatives in Turkey was among 13 renegades arrested for plotting against the lawful government. Once it became clear that he was exposed, Soros then immediately shut it down with his front organization, the Open Society Foundation, announcing an end to its operations in Turkey by claiming that a link between their activities and protests in Turkey was an outside reality. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the clip and we're going to get out of here. This is from RT News, guys. The Society Foundation is ceasing operations in Turkey over what it describes as baseless claims. That's after Ankara linked the billionaire to anti-government protests staged in 2013.
There is a person who financed the terrorists in the Gizi events. Now he is behind bars. And who is behind him? The famous Hungarian Jew, Soros. Those uh, protests went uh, nationwide with people angry about the increasingly uh, authoritarian uh, nature of the state. The most violent demo took place in the capital's Gezi Park, leaving over 100 people injured. The Turkish president appears convinced that Mr. Soros was involved in something the billionaire denies. There is an effort to link the Open Society Foundation to the Gezi incidents in 2013. These efforts are not new and they are outside reality. Soros' uh, Open Society Foundation already pulled out of another country earlier this year. Hungary, where the government accused it of meddling in the nation's affairs. The former Turkish foreign minister, Yazar Yakis, says the turbulence in Turkish society was fertile ground for the foundation's activities. I don't think that uh, it is uh, directed to one of the uh, activities. Several activities that it conducted uh, was regarded by the uh, pro-government uh, circles as suspicious, and the, the, the most important were, of course, their, their involvement or their claimed involvement in the Gezi incidents that took place in Istanbul uh, several years ago. Turkey was going through a turbulent period socially because of this Muslim cleric who is living in the United States, Fethullah Gülen, and his activities and uh, the coup attempt in Turkey, and now Turkey's involvement in the, Syri in the Syrian crisis and its backlashes in Turkey, all these things made Turkish society a little turbulent. And uh, for organizations who want to do something in a country, such turbulent society is a very fertile ground, and uh, Soros was doing it according to its own terms of reference or or, or uh, according to its targets. Okay, guys, George Soros has done this many times over. Now, I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying it's plausible.